Hey guys, last week we stacked photos and discussed macro photography. This episode we explore the macro process and a bonus tip for stacking those photos. So let's jump right in. Hey, I'm excited about photography and I hope you are too. So let's learn together. Okay, so we talked about macro photography and I don't have much of a photo booth or studio. We're gonna set it up right here, just like I did before. Uh, thankfully, these, they're starting to die, but they're not dead yet. Not dead yet! Get some pictures of these flowers here. Lights turned on. And hopefully, you can't hear the washing machine going off. We shall see if you can hear it. All right, that's good. And, oh, I need this. Always need a good sturdy tripod. I don't know if I want to extend the uh, the other uh, I don't know portion of the leg. That might be enough. So we only need to kind of get this kind of an angle here, maybe even slightly up. So go up and down with this. That's good. I'm going to talk about. Um, extension tubes and macro photography or macro lens we'll talk about those two and of course the camera itself love these little quick release snap on could switch them out another story for that I think we're pretty much set now it's just a matter of uh, lining up the shot okay i have all the flowers i like the look of this particular flower right here so that's the one i'm going to focus on i wanted to get the lighting uh in a situation where there's no shadows and that's the reason why i have three lights primarily kind of coming in from all angles and now it's just a matter of getting the camera focused okay so i have the lens currently set at 18 uh, millimeter and it's on autofocus so if I half click you can see it gets in pretty close and that's about as close as I can get I'll take a snapshot of that not too bad now we'll try it at 24 uh, we'll go right up to 55 and see what those look like Here's 24. You know, and I think we'll go up. So this is 35. Getting pretty close there, right? Problem is, we're now getting into the shaky move from the half clicking. But that's pretty good. I mean, it's getting it right in there. I can bring that up just a little bit. Kind of like that. It's not bad. Ah, oh, this reminds me, we need another piece of equipment. Okay, now that we're getting a little tighter on the shot, we need the camera to be as still as possible. And that's where one of these uh, button clickers comes in handy. It's like a remote focus or remote uh, shutter activator uh, most cameras have it just plugs in there and now I can do like a shot there there just by holding down this button I'll do it again so you can see if I can get the angle just right, where you can get both my hand there. There. That way the camera doesn't move, or very little. The only movement it's gonna have is from the moving of the, or the pulling and tugging of, of the cable, which is kind of loose. That was without an extension tube or the macro lens. 
So now let's talk about extension tubes and macro lens. Or we'll do the macro lens first and then extension tube. I don't know. Let's figure it out together. I've taken the lens off the front, which I'm using an 18 by 55, and I got the smallest extension tube. Pop that on, put that on the front. Okay. Oof, I should not have done that with the camera on. Bad choice, but hey, what are you going to do? I'm new. Let's put this on here. And line up a shot there. Now you can see it's a, you don't know if you can tell, but it's a little out of focus. I have it on auto, but the camera lens itself is set to manual focus. So I can turn this in. That's pretty good. It's pretty sharp, right? I think that would be a nice photo, but you can see, I don't know if you can see on this camera and the lens, but there, it's a little fuzzy back here. It's pretty sharp right there and not so sharp in the center. So if I focus in a little further, this becomes fuzzy and this becomes sharp in the background. And that's where we start getting into the closer photography where we need to stack those photos. So right here, I'd have two photos, one where I focus in up front, like here, and then one in the back. So uh, yeah, let's do, let's do that real quick. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, I need this guy. I think that looks pretty good. I might do three, one up front. I might even try to focus in. Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't have autofocus on anyway. Hmm, not happy with that. Because I want to get sharp image on that one pedal up front. This little guy right here. And then focus it in. Just beyond that to the center. And then just, and then way out beyond it. Oh, let's stretch it out as far as I can to get the back as best I could. So that's pretty nice. That's what just the extension tube brings you in a little tighter. Pretty cool. Now I got this extra lens that came with the uh, the pack here. Let's see if I can get this in here. It's called a uh, a macro lens. It actually says macro right on it. Um, but it's a 43. Let's see if I can get this off of here. And if you can see it, I should turn this off. I don't know if you can see that, but it says uh, it's 0.43 times high definition wide angle lens uh, for a 58 millimeter. So this mil macro lens, I'm going to put on top of this lens. It was right here. It screws in. It's tight threads, really, really tight. So I like to hold it straight up and down so it can catch it just right because you don't want to cross thread these for sure. Right, I get these put on. I'll get this on the camera, and we'll take a look from there. All right, so now I've added the macro lens to this, and well, I don't know if you could tell, but there's not much difference between the the extension and the macro lens. However, because it's a wider end uh, lens, I think I'm getting more of the other flowers around it, which kind of make it pop and and kind of focus in on this one flower in the middle while these are kind of like on the side. So if I took that and snapped a photo and then see if I can get the back end of it there, a little bit more focused there and then way in the back, oh, way in the back there if I can, slightly. Schmack. There we go. I think those will turn out good. It doesn't hurt to take more photos than you think you need because you, you might mess up or miss something important. But with the macro lens attached, there's one thing I hadn't really touched on is the fact that we're at 55 uh, millimeter uh, macro. And when I 
talk about focusing, I'm talking about focusing right here, making slight adjustments at the front of the camera, not from here. One of the, the things I like to do uh, is add some water spritz to it. This is just a water bottle. Um, nice little spritzer, mister, if you will. Mr. Mr. Spritzer. And it's going to sp spray it on the flowers just to get some drops on it. But before I do that, I want to protect my camera. So let's put that down. Let's take this piece of felt scarf that I have. Put that over the camera real quick and spritz, spritz. Let's make sure this works. Yeah, it works good. Trying to build up the raindrops a little bit there. That looks good. Okay, take this off. And now you can see a little bit of raindrops. Raindrops, whoa. Okay, sorry. All right. Well, we're going to do the same thing with the extension tube added. Jeez, I don't know. This raindrops could be a little bit bigger. Let's see if I can get that without damaging my camera. Yeah, I like that. A little bit bigger raindrops there. Cool. Stop shaking. Put that on the ground. All right. So now we'll just focus in on the front. That looks pretty good. Focus in on the middle. Ooh. That middle is almost getting the uh, back too. We get like that. That looks pretty good. And then we'll go, whoops, wrong way, all the way to the back. Get those in. And now we'll swap out the extension tube for the macro lens and see if it looks any better. All right, macro lens is on. Raindrops are still there, looking good. Let's see if we can get in a little tight on the front pedals. Button. Then get into the middle. About there. Looks good. And then in the background. Does that look right about there? Pretty sharp. Maybe back it up just a little. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Still a little dark, but let's see what it looks like on the computer. Last week, I got a tip from Robert Ashcroft. He commented on my last episode and gave me a, a bit of a tip here. If we go to, oops, sorry, file scripts, and down here there is... Here it is, Lo uh, load files into a stack. And from here we can choose uh, these three photos from this particular episode. Click OK, and it brings it right into your workspace, uh, all stacked up so you don't have to bring them separately and copy and paste them over. I don't, do not think, I don't think these are stacked, so we still have to go through and stack them. Um, oh, got to highlight them first. <laughs> Let's highlight these guys. Just make sure they're aligned. They should be aligned, I think. Nope, they weren't. So, we aligned them. It's fantastic. Let's get uh, something like maybe... Mm, I don't know, that looks good. Boom, stacked them. And now we blend them. While it composes, we wait, and boom, look at that. From the back all the way to the front, nice, clean, clean crisp photo. It's awesome. Let's uh, 
Let's save this. Uh, JPEG. Let's call it, uh, oh, let's see. Let's we'll just call it orange. Orange flower. It's awesome. It looks so cool. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that an awesome photograph? And this was with the macro film, the macro film, macro lens. Uh, the reason for it is it does have a wild, wide angle lens. So it captures a little bit more. It grabs a little bit of this flower down here, the yellow here, uh, this guy back here, some greens. It, it just kind of makes a pop. I could crop this out a little bit more, but I like that. I like it. I hope you like it too. And, uh, yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching and I really appreciate Rob's tip. If you have any advice for me or just want to say hello, drop it in the comments below. The reason I've been doing so much indoor photography late lately is because the weather outside has been pretty nasty. So I'm kind of forced to do indoor shoots at the moment. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I produce a weekly video on this journey to photography. So click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.